Well, global health research is uh, one of the legs on the global health uh, stool. Uh, there's the clinical aspects, there are the uh, public health aspects, uh, but these all need to be knitted together with, uh, with uh, uh, research. So Bloomfield. I am a cardiology fellow at Duke University Medical Center in Durham, North Carolina, and I'll be spending the next year in Eldoret, uh, Western Kenya in East Africa. It's important for the United States to be involved in global health research, um, partly because it's the right thing to do when there are gross disparities in access to health and the um, level of health care that's uh, provided worldwide. Um, you can't ignore your fellow man. I think uh, developing um, uh, partners in developing countries, um, not only can we help countries with less resources than us, but we can learn a lot from a new um, generation of researchers from the developing world. What women in Africa are helping us to learn is going to be super relevant to people in the United States who are trying to, you know, figure out ways to fight these same viruses and you know your body doesn't care if you're living in Africa or living here. If we can find a way to um, help people, it's going to help people anywhere. It's good because of its public health uh, benefits. It makes us aware of uh, the uh, diseases in other countries such as SARS and it also uh, helps us to identify areas where we can reduce the uh, poverty and misery of the world by programs such as polio eradication. There's a sense of building our economic uh, partnerships. Uh, if you can improve the health of a country, you improve the economies of the country, and this is a value to the economy of the United States. The security nature of our investments has been uh, recognized. Colin Powell said that uh, AIDS in Africa was a direct security threat to the United States because the upheavals to the economies, the, the uh, social structure uh, would breed uh, uh, the sort of soil that terrorism could flourish.